my channel my name is crab queen and today i'm gonna start the new tutorial uh, but first before we're gonna start i like to tell you that um, i will notice in all the chit chats that i normally do uh, during my tutorials um, i started this project way before my holiday started and it was not complete uh, when my holiday started so uh, the plan was to start right after the holiday, of course, but then I got ill, I got back pain, so it, it was not planned, of course, illness is never planned. And um, it took me, well, I think three and a half weeks to get back in track where I am right now, and I'm not that 100%, um, but it's getting there. So I'm gonna try to make this project uh, finally finished so I can finally give you this project in the tutorial uh, series again. So um, that is just a little update so don't worry um, when all my chit chat stories sound crazy because the most of you know that I was ill, that I was having a holiday but if you follow this tutorial, you get it all <laughs> in the chit chats because I am going to tell you everything. So today, so today I am going to finish finally my project. Well, I hope today, but uh, otherwise tomorrow and otherwise in three days. I don't know. But uh, actually, finally, I'm getting back in track a little, <laughs> a little bit by bit. So, um, yeah, have fun. Bye bye. Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crab Queen, and today I like to show you my new um, papers that I'm going to use. And this one is again from Fleur Design. Yeah, I know, I'm just falling in love with all this brand. Um, but it's from Russia, and I am going to show you. These papers are shouting out summer, so I thought, yeah, finally it's time to use these papers because they are quite a wild bought but oh my gosh finally yeah so okay so let me show you it's hot outside so i hope you are not melting down just yet so what we have let me first show you we have a six by six pad we have a little card set and we have two eight by eight sets and a big cut apart sheet now let's dig in the papers let me unwrap this for you guys so in the 8x8 papers what's inside all right so we have how many do we have 12 i think 12 papers all is in russia and the moment that i ordered this one there were just small images to see on their website so yeah of course on the front i know it it, it was in russia but I didn't realize that every single thing on the cards, for example on this one, is in Russia. So that is my mistake, but I'm going to show you how we are going to solve that. But look at that, isn't it so cute? Alright, so the most of the colors are salmon, mint, brown and some cream color. So let's see what's all inside. So here we have, yeah, it's a little, yeah, it, now I see this is called Mr. and Mrs. So yeah, it's a wedding team. But if you're not going to use this for a wedding album or project, then you definitely can use all of this. So you can cut out all these images and it doesn't have to be particularly for Mr. and Mrs. So yeah, this image is but all the rest we can use. Don't worry that it is in Russia. Don't worry, don't worry. So we are going to fix that. All right, so now this sheet is exactly the same as this big one, I think. Yep, it is. But no worries, we still can use it. Or we can use the back, of course, because we already have it in a big one. So this is a nice cream color, almost salmon, but not quite. A little, yeah, wood. Marmor, I don't know exactly the word for it, but it's a nice light color. Now the next one, we have a nice wooden background. There are some white lace. Oops, do you see that? I hope you can see that. Now you can see, see that? Oh my gosh, I love it. 
I love, love, love it. And here at the bottom too. And then on the back. We have, oh cool, nice mint color with all those ornaments. I love these papers, really fancy and chic de frimo. All right, then we have that nice ornament on the back too, and I have to keep it this way. There's nice ornament on the back, and then we have this nice what with a nice bird on with some flowers and a butterfly. And then here is a little bouquet on the white side and the back is oh my gosh i love this so this is nice salmon i hope you can see this on camera i don't think that you can see that but oh my gosh it's nice salmon that white is coming through and this is a little cracky crack on the with white so so cute then the same, it's almost, a, well, it's definitely the same crack, crackly thing. And then we have some bouquets and that white is coming through on the back. Love that, really cute. So it's a little, yeah, a little edgy all the way around with some flowers and everything. Super, super cute. Oh, I don't totally forgot to use this one. Here we have a nice wall with bricks. The white drawings are coming back it's not good to see but it is and then some flowery on the side super cute then the same brick is coming back but here we have some yeah it looks like a waterfall but i think it's 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 the the vein how you know how you call the the thing that behind behind the white i have no clue <laughs> but you know what i mean it's, is it a vein i have no clue sorry if i pronounce the word wrong I saw so many times say yes to the dress, but I still don't know how you call that thing, that nice long... I think I have the correct word, but I don't. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> then we have again some wood on the background with all those super flowers in between. It's like a wavy thing with the flowers. Super cute. Oh, that's the back. We already had that. And then this one, how do I put this? I think this way. It looks best this way, or maybe this. Well, you can, that, that's the beauty of this. You can keep it this way or this way. But here we have that nice images on the back, but then in this nice light greenery burlap brown touch. We really love that one. And some lace on here, and some burlap on the bottom. And then again, that nice bouquet. The back is also a little wood, but it's almost the same as this one. But as you can see, it is different. It's a little bit wider with the bouquets and a little mint in the wood. Wow, I love it. Super cool. Then we have the mint crack on the back and all those bouquets. And then this one is white with salmon, also with a crack in it. Super easy and quiet to use let's see then we have that nice ornament on the back in the mint color some little wood is shining through a little bit love that super cool and then here we have those nice lamps super super nice and the back oh my gosh i love the brown color with a white heart little guanxi here and there stunning super and then we have a cream color. I think it's a little wood on the background. Not much to be seeing, but yeah, a little grungy. That white is coming through the bouquets. Here we have a little wooden basket with a key in it. With some little hearts inside. Cutting out. And then we have a nice busy page with all nice bouquets. And it's a little salmon on the background. And then we have, wow, I love this wooden thing that you will normally see outside uh, in, in, in your fence or something. And then these, these wooden, yeah, wheels. Love it, with these little bells. Yeah, you definitely can use this without using a wedding team, guys. You can, oh, wow. Oh, I love this one. Same color as this. Um, with the heart 
totally love that. Nice and quiet. Fixed perfectly with a busy page. Love it. Some leaves and that little brown crack on the back and some crunchy things. Really love that one. Oh, I always love having a nice and easy paper uh, page inside. So here we have just a nice white with just a little tiny salmon color dot in it. Super, super cute. I hope it is be seen on camera. Sometimes I totally forgot that it's a little bit wider to, for you to be seeing. And then we have another cut apart sheet. So you can cut out all those little elements. Super cute. And then we have a nice wood background. Easy going page. Fits with everything. You even can use these for strips. Very easy to use. Oh wow. And then here we have a nice white curtain kind of a thing. Can you imagine? Oh wow. I love this. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a wedding theme. But still... You can use this without having any wedding coming. Definitely. All right, so that is the eight by eight. We do have two of those. We also have the six by six. The papers are exactly the same, but then we have um, 24 sheets. They are exactly the same, but look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it, love it, love it, love it. This one is in small. But everything is exactly the same. Super cool. So that's always nice to have more papers. And then there is this little card set. And what's inside? You have those little square ones. It would be nice on a... Hey, an English word. Romantic. Super cute. So you still can use those. Those little bouquets that all those images. So yeah, these images are quite related to um, to wedding. But I am going to show you that you don't have to use this for a wedding team project. Definitely not. All right. So of course I do not understand one single word what's on this pack. Like I told you, I did not recognize um, that there were so many um, Russian words in it. But I'm going to promise you that I am going to fix that. Um, so when the project is done, you will not see any Russian word. Because I don't understand what it's saying. <laughs> Alright, so what can we do make with this one? It's going to be a small project, um, I think. Maybe. I have no clue. So let's see. What can I make with this? Stay tuned. Hello, hello, hello. I am going to start with cutting the chipboard. And previous you saw me the Wild Hearts kit making. Um, making the Wild Hearts kit. And I made two albums. And I love making a tryout. But that took me so many hours. That I promised myself that I do not want to make any tryouts that big. But, um, so I'm gonna, and this is actually also a tryout because I did not make anything like this. But I'm gonna try, so please check out first this video. <laughs> if I'm gonna do it correctly or do I need some changes. But let's see what we can make. So I'm gonna give you the measurements. I hopefully I give you the white measurements and otherwise I'm just going to start all over again. But these are the measurements that I'm going to cut out. So what we need to cut out is a 534 by 814. And we do need that double. That's for the cover and the back. In centimeters that's 14.6 by 21 centimeters. Now for the spine we need 378 by 814 one time that's for the spine and then 9.7 by 21 centimeters all right that's be for the um yeah outside cover then we're gonna make an inside box okay <laughs> and those measurements are three five of an eight by eight inch or 9.2 by 20 and a half centimeters. Those pieces we do need two times. 
and a 358 by that is not correct 358, 358 by five and a half. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do need to change that by five and a half. Yep, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so, and the last one is 358 by five and a half inch or 9.2 by 14. Oh my goodness. This is 14, yeah, 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 14 centimeters. All right, so if you pause me, then I changed all the measurements. Oh my gosh, it's a little bit messy, but I hope you can do with this. And if I'm correct, then maybe I'm gonna rewrite this for you for a better look, but okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see. So I'm gonna cut out all of these. Now, if you are a kit buyer, then um, the chipboard may be, well, all the chipboards are having normally the same size, but just check it always. Check always the sizes that um, you are, because some of the chipboards are having an eight and a half measurement and some are eight one four, but always check the measurements and cutting it all out so never assume that the measurements are already correct i'm going to use my knife because this chipboard is pretty thick it is too thick for my fish cars so i am going to cut out all those pieces so this is my 814 and now and I always can recommend that if you are going, going to cut your chipboard to draw first all the measurement lines. So maybe, just maybe, you don't make any mistakes. Because sometimes I do get messages that people cut their chipboard the wrong way and then they don't have enough. So maybe it's a good tip like I just did. To first draw the lines on the chipboard before you're going to cut out. All right, so now this is the front and back. And now we are going to cut the spine. And yeah, I do. Well, I'm just going to cut this out like this. Or maybe, no, it's not, not any use to cut that way. So as you can see, I messed this, mixed, messed this up already, but they are just drawing lines, so that is cool. So if I am not mistaken, this is a 378 and my drawing line is 814. So let's cut all of that. Isn't, is it as hot? in your area as it is here because today it is quite hot now these are the pieces that is be needing for the cover so check it out if it's all correctly yep this is the cover all right put that away now i am gonna cut this one always check 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 this is an eight by three, five, five of an eight. Yep. Okay, cutting that out. I'm just going to do this together with you. Having a little chit chat. And then I can change this so I don't have to cut twice. So this needs to be a 3, 5 of an 8. 
let's change that. So I only have to cut once. That is of course better than twice. Now let's cut it out. There we go. Checking it again. Three, five of an eight by eight. All right, so that is my first piece. And if I am having it correctly, it is a bit smaller than the cover. So that is cool. <laughs> All right, so let's cut the next two little pieces. 358 and the next one I'm just gonna cut right along this one too as you can see my false measurements now I can adjust it that's the beauty of the drawing lines so now I can cut first this way That is left, and then I can cut this way. So this is left. Now I need to check which one I need. That's this one. Yep, that it is. So this is left, maybe we can use it for a nice frame or anything, I don't know just yet. But for now, these are the same, same as this one. And just going to check, see this I did not cut nice and straight, so I need to adjust that. But as you can see, that this one is a little smaller. And this one is a little smaller, so it stays a little bit smaller inside the cover. That is that for cutting it out. I'm going to adjust that little mistake right here, making it nice and straight. Because we do like to have everything straight, of course, and not having this mis miscut. It's a miscut. <laughs> but we can just fix that. Just like that. So always check if you, yeah, cut everything nice and straight. Yep. I think the rest is all pretty cool. But it's okay, that's just a little a little fraction. Alright, what's next? What's next? Let's see. Oh, cool when I'm doing everything the first time. It's yeah, I love it. Love it. Alright, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm gonna do the inside box and I am gonna use some white. I'm not normally a white person, but I think it looks amazing. Um just grabbing the first one page. I think it looks so good on white. I think it is. And we always can use um, some nice distress ink to make that a little bit. I ordered some new one, but it is a holiday, so I don't think that I will get those. But as you can see, if I use this, it will look amazing. 
I also can make nice tags with that using this color. I love this color. So that is a maybe. If I'm going to use some distress ink on the cardstock too. So that's a maybe, but I'm definitely going to use white so I can choose anything that's popping up my head. <laughs> so what can we do? Um, we can wrap this. Yeah, I think that's the best way, isn't it? Mm, it might be the best way to wrap this all. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this one inch here, one inch here. That is done. I have no clue. Let's check it out. That is done. Let's say a five and a half. And how many do we need to attach? With this one. So we need two. I think... Two or three, I don't know exactly, but let's start with three pages, cutting at five and a half inch, so we can attach, and I do love to use double sided tape. To attach this, pom 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 pom. There we go. Now it's a challenge too to use uh, to use white when it's so so hot outside but i do my best that's why i also have um, a nice clean <laughs> uh, tissue to wipe my sweaty hands off because you don't want to get your white papers get dirty or anything so I do my best, but I really think that these bright summer colors fits perfect with white. But we always can keep it a little um, more vintage. All right, so let's just start. with one let's put it on I always do first edges and then go on the inside but there's no need for that, but then the edges always can dry a little bit longer. But totally fine. I'm gonna leave a little longer. Well, just a little. Okay. And then we go to the next one. Because we do need to attach this all because this is going to be a round piece and as I say it's the first time that I did this and I am curious how this is going to be working now if I put this up then I like to have this against so that is how I'm going to help this a little bit. Okay, so this is actually, I think, the same size as the chipboard. So then it will be nicely to each other. Okay, 
flip this for just a moment to burnish the glue. Okay, now we need a long one. So the next one, if this is here, and this is the yep. Okay. Nice same size as that. Cool. Put this round. Ooh, this is just in in the full point. Mm -hmm. Just a little. And like I said, it is a twilight for me, so oh, I hope I can film this in one time. Normally I would try this first, and when I know exactly what to do, then I'm going to film it all over again. But as it is hot, and I definitely do not want this to take ages so I'm just gonna see how it works if I'm just gonna make it a really follow along video <laughs> all right put on the show glue down okay that's that now if I am going to fold all this, this here, this here, then maybe this one I can. I'm just going to try it out, guys. Try things out. See if I need to fold this inside or not. So I have no clue. I'm just gonna try it out. This, 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 and then this is here. So we attach this on the inside, and then this we can wrap this around. That's maybe a good idea. And then we can wrap it all inside. Is that making sense to you, or do you think what the Beep, is she gonna do? I think that's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea to wrap this inside when. Nope, I don't think it is. So that is what I'm gonna do, guys. I am gonna put some glue on here. Yep, I am gonna do that. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Try this with me. Is that you have no clue? I'm just gonna use the 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 see through if I am correctly. If you fold this a little bit flat, then you also see the bottom of the end of this chipboard. So that is my guideline to make this straight. 
and I don't think that I am straight at all. Okay, that's not easy to do. So what we can, how we can fix that, is what if we just cut this and this? Is it easy to cut that down? This piece, yeah, I think we can. I think we can cut this down just along the fold line. Yep, let's give it a try, guys. So now you will see the edges. Let's give it another try. I'm going to put some glue on on for just a sec oh that's way back now i see you need to see <laughs> all right put some on yep okay I like to give it a better look on here. Oh, yep, now I do see everything much, much clearer. So now this is straight. Yep, okay, cool. And this will fold around in just a sec. But let me first burnish this down. It's very important that you will see that this one right here is equal, of course, same as here. You need to have your chipboard equal. Okay. And then we are just going to fold this around. Just like that. And give it a little squeeze but that is well and I don't think it has to be that long but let me just cut this one just a little off well Diane how ugly is that? This is better. Okay. That's the plan. Now this is not equal, but don't worry, don't worry. We just fold that in, in a sack. But I think this is the right way. So let's glue this all to each other. Maybe it's better to just keep this flat so you can push and push. Here we go. Yes. All right, so that is a nice attach. Um, now it's just a case of uh, folding it all in. How we do that? Well, we just start in a corner and I think I'm just gonna cut this flat and then just cut this just a little in an angle. Let me try in one corner. Cutting in the fold line. And then a little triangle. Let's see how that works on this side. So I'm just going to fold this around. And then you will see. If you cut enough. And for this one. I cut not completely in the fold line. 
going to cut this piece off because we do need that. So it's a little twine things out. How it all will work out for you. Same thing here. So maybe it is nice to have just that little for the corner because I don't want an empty spot in the corner. See, now this one is nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do when I'm satisfied, same as we do with albums, we're just going to apply Yeah, that's with white guys, especially when it's hot. <laughs> you do need to clean your hands more. Alright, so maybe maybe it's an idea to cut this in a triangle and keep the middle alive. Is that an option? So if I do this then I have this little piece that I can move back in as an option or not. Or is it not an option? And then maybe, I'm just going to try this out guys, I'm just going to, maybe then if I cut this down, then I can fold this inside. And it will get you a nice edge right here. And then this. Oh, yeah, it does. Then you will have right here. This is what I mean, guys. I don't want to see my chipboard on the corners. So I think this is a nice way. So let's <laughs> give it a try. I'm just going to put some glue in for those little pieces. Then again, put some glue on. the method that I like so I don't see any of those ugly corners okay so I'm just gonna start moving these inwards then I'm just gonna flat these out on the chipboard some glue on just move them in your chipboard yeah here we go put some glue on
but this one does not have exactly okay and then we are at the last one now this one is for my first cut still but i'm gonna see how that works because it's not completely the same but it does it does when i burnish this down nicely with my bone folder it does okay Burnish it down. All right, guys. So I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. This will be fixed, of course. But we also need to attach this on here. On this one. Oh, this is now with the... Um, but, but the other one will be bigger. Too, when we wrap it around um, so yeah maybe it is a good idea to keep this just intact for just a second because maybe we are we can use these for the flaps to put this in there so that would be nice but of course you can cut already this little triangle push it inside burnish it down put some glue on Just tear these off. Dawn, dawn, dawn. That was not <laughs> what I had in mind. But no worries. I'm just gonna check if I can do the next one. So I'm going to move this forward, burnish this down. And then, yeah, it's not the perfect way to do this, but it's just an experiment how or what. For me. So I like to give you that experience. If you like this or not, I have no clue. I'm just gonna film for you guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to film it all. So when this is ready, you can fold this inside, same as we did with the other one, of course, you still can burnish this down, but just maybe we can now use this for um, attaching it at the bottom. <gasps> yeah, I think that's a perfect idea. So, so I'm going to continue with struggling with my corners and I know maybe there are several other ways to do this but so
sometimes I just don't feel like the corners are nice and even that this might be the bottom I still like the bottom to be nice I want everything to be nice <laughs> yeah 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 wow that is a lot of glue but let's check it out one here and one on this side and then burnish it down and one here okay and then this I can fold it all in just like that as we put some glue on but we do not right now see so this will be nicely the the attaching hinges so we don't have to attach extra hinges to do that maybe only for the inside okay gonna this down those little pieces Fold this one down yeah 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 And what I'm gonna make is sometimes I do see that in a store and then they have this piece in a wooden a wooden piece and I just wanted to see if I can make that the papers of course we can everything is to be made with papers but And if you don't try, you never know, of course. If you don't try, you never know. Alright, so now these I am not going to attach all the way in. I'm just going to leave them right here. Just to... I think it's a great way to attach these. And it's a nice deep one. Wow, this is deep. Oh, that's cool. Um, I am going to cut a few hinges to cover up the inside um, pieces. And so let's cut a few one inch strips to cover that up or maybe longer. That's totally up to you. I'm just going to use one inch strip and then we can cut this at what was that what was it the five the three three five of an eight three five of an eight it was We need to burn this down. Not burn this down, make a fold line, of course. Duh. <laughs> here we are. And here we are. Okay. Few little inches. I 
always like to cut these in a corner. So they are not bumping in the way for every... You don't want that. There we go. Um, yep. And now we're just going to apply these right here and if these are just a little shorter is nice you can use tape of course or you can use glue that's totally up to you what you like to use so you just can apply this in the corner i just start at the bottom and then i'm going to use my bone folder to Finish it down, and this is just to, to give this a nicer look. So, just a little smaller. All the corners, of course, just that little millimeter smaller. There you go. And the right spot. And branch it out. Last one. Yeah, yeah, I'm still with you. Let's do this all together. Don't make videos as short as possible. Why? You don't have to. I'm just with you. Together. Here we go. That's that. Um, so yeah, now I am gonna uh, do the cover, and hopefully it will be a little bit bigger the cover because now it's almost the same size. Ooh. All right, but let's go to the next part. Cool. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Um, I'm gonna use white again um, adding a few on each other I put my window open just in a minute ago because yeah it's not that hot outside today but the heat from yesterday is in the house especially up here so I am just gonna open up my window for a second okay Let's add one on here, and I think we do need another one. Yep, we do need another one. So now what I do like is that where I attach the other papers will not be in a fold line. So I'm just going to start with, with the middle. So I'm just 
just going to put this in the middle. Well, I also can't put this little down so I can cut a little off right there. You don't have to make this too long, but I just had my, my mom on the phone asking her if she had a nice dream the last few nights. Um, and she told me she did not dream about it. And with it, I mean that my mom wants a Pomerian too. Yes, can you imagine? My mom <laughs> wants a dog. She is so much in love uh, into my chica. And well, she has the age that it's still a good age for having a dog. She's 70 years old. So yeah, it's, it's not the oldest age in the world. So, and of course she is, um, having faith that whenever she passing away we are not going to talk about that but when that does blah, 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 skip <laughs> then of course I adopt whatever she has still alive she even has a cat so I don't know if that is a good idea but I will I will take good care of whatever she still has at that time but we are not going to talk about that we are not going to think about that Shh. but so yeah <laughs> so yes last week and that was even doing the week that wild hearts was coming online so oh my gosh well <laughs> put it on my plate too <laughs> So yeah, I did find for her another Pomerian. No, no, Pomerian. The dwarf. That case. So, um, so oh my gosh, I'm so happy that we found one. We had we had uh, some different. Um, different options but um, I think the one she has right now I think it's it, it, it's a nice choice and it's a black and white one and if I see the mom and if I believe the breeder then it's gonna be a, such a small one so I am I think even maybe smaller than Chica and Chica is also not the biggest one so I am so so anxious <laughs> in how this turns out oh my gosh sorry I am just going into making this album uh, cover because yeah maybe you made so many with me that you already know what I'm gonna do right now so oh my gosh I'm so so sorry that I just brabbled along I did not tell anything what I did but what I did is I these in between definitely four to five millimeters keep this away from each other you definitely need it um, then of course the corners keep your corners wide not too wide two millimeters is wide enough um, from the chipboard so keep that in mind and for the rest you saw what I did didn't I yeah you know the drills all right so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this tool but you can use your bone folder you can use your hand you can use your thumb you can use your ruler you can use anything to do this but I like to pre fold this before I even going to glue this down now also what I do like is I'm going to use some double sided tape to keep this a little bit 
better on its place but just the glue will do that wipes yes it does <laughs> Anyway, so last week I checked out a few breeders in my living area and last Saturday we went watching one address and she had two, a black and a white and a very light i think it's going to be white cream color but yeah somehow my mom fell in love with the with the black and white and i must say oh my gosh it's such a cutie so she had all the black uh, into her eyes just a, a white stripe in front of her head and oh the rest over her body she also has some uh, black areas so and she's so small she's absolutely so small she's now six weeks old so in two weeks we probably can get her today she has the vet appointment to get her first um, vaccination for rabies and, and all that kind of Thing that puppies need to get so maybe just maybe when she keeps doing well as she is right now then maybe 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 not this weekend but the weekend after this weekend we can get her Yay! oh and super excited for my mom too but also for me because I am super nervous how her cat will react on it so it's a five year old cat and if you have any tips for me and i know this is going to be a little later but any tips are welcome how to get a five year old cat and it's a male one to get used to a female puppy <laughs> Is that a challenge? Do you think it will work out? Yeah, I think it does. My mom is a little skeptical, but I told her not to worry, so fingers crossed for that. And it will be. Okay, so I'm gonna fold those corners inside. And then I'm gonna fold down. By the way, I'm using Clairefontaine. 160 gram cardstock to make the pages and everything else so that is what i use what i always like to use here we go and then when that is done you can squeeze those papers inside same here and there you go that is done wow this looks nice keep your hands clean if you're using white yep all right so now I am curious of if, if that box will fit. Okay, uh, it, it might be. <laughs> I hope it does. And it does. Yeah, I'm so glad that I made this a little smaller. Because yep, it does. Let me see if I put it this way, then you will see it maybe better. So... Here a little edge, there a little edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do this. We can. We can do this. Just see what the best spot is. Okay, I have a little edge right here. I have a little edge outside. And then I am 
because this edge is narrow but it is a small edge yep now I have it completely on its spot all right so what if I close this down Check that out. Okay. Now what I see is that this is of course a little wider. And that is because I made this thicker. So what if I made it a little smaller? Then I think it would be fitting a bit better. But I don't like to make it smaller. So that means, should have made this a little wider, because now it is not completely fitting, as you can see. See that? If I put this on the corner, see this? This is a little wider, but then again, This is coming on the bottom, and then this needs to be closed down. What do you say? Is that a big deal, or... I think if I made the spine just that little... Just that little... Smaller... This one... Just that little... And it may be just that a little bit better, so... I made a pretty large opening in here. Oh, I even made it a six, almost a seven. Yeah, I'm gonna replace this. It's definitely four is more than enough for this one. That's my mistake. So I'm gonna change this and make sure that this opening is not that wide. This album is not that big. So maybe I can make this fit better if I reduce this in 4 millimeters and not a wide 6 millimeters. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to change this. Yep, I'm just going to start all over again. <laughs> and then I'll come back to you. <laughs> no worries, we just start all over again. Okay guys, I changed this. And Depends. It's it's so much different. So yeah, I changed this in four millimeters. I was doing it way too wild. I do use a lot a larger in between when I make bigger albums. Um, so but this do not need that big spine uh, opening. So now it does, and it, this will be straight, of course. But now it will be fit so much better see okay so that is our little box well book box I call it a book box all right so um, now how to go further um, I don't know if I like to smooch the edges but I don't like always the white, so ooh, I am a little bit anxious in where do I have all my other all my other um, I did have a few ink pads. So I'm gonna see which one, but I do love this one. The Fred Burlap and and like I said, I did order new ones, but that is not. But this looks cool to me too. But I'm going to check it out if I want this or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a piece of my leftover pieces. And I'm just going to check that out if I like that or not. So just gonna check that out testing testing I'm in the testing mode well 
just put some glue on. Then I know for sure what I like. All right, so, yep, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to see what other options I have. Like I said, I did order a few others, but that is not here because of the holiday of that company. But this can be working too. So what if I just, I want to try a few options. Okay, so I'll make it as light as possible and I think I like this. But I'm gonna see, I do have some more, but so I'm back in a sec. <laughs> 